I'm Rene Estrada, and we're the FT Assassins. Here holding down the SPL, best tournament in Florida, hands down, no questions asked. You already know, for the players. Yeah! <laughs> My name is Justin, and I'm just wondering, am I going to see my sponsors in the game? Exalt, Social Paintball, D Die? Absolutely. Um, in fact, we've, uh, we have a lot of agreements with, uh, I mean, you can go on Greg's Facebook page, and he's constantly talking about um, all the new companies that we have signed to add the authenticity of the game, to get their gear in the game. Um, in addition, obviously, like I say, we're working with Social Paintball. There's, uh, there's some really cool social aspects to the game. Um, that, that we'll be talking about later on as they get fleshed out, but they're going to let us work in a lot of these these uh, sponsors in a way that I think not only helps them, helps us, but actually also makes the game just better um, because it brings in the, the social aspect uh, and helps the, the community grow. I'm Rene Estrada, and what I want to know is how aggressive is this game really going to be? Is it going to be like the real speedball, or is it going to be a little bit slowed down? What's the deal? Well, I'll tell you, it certainly won't be slowed down. If anything, uh, the gaming, the, translating a, a physical sport to a game, or any physical activity to a game, there's always the trade-off you make of how, do you, how much realism do you bring over, you want to make it fun, but you want to make it realistic. How much of the uh, the minutia do you bring over? Um, in fact, this game we're we're thinking about bringing in things like uh, ball breaking, you know, cleaning your cleaning your barrel, cleaning your goggles, uh, you know, stuff that you know initially you might think, well, that doesn't sound like very much fun, but it's, it's certainly not a fun part in actual paintball having to wipe your goggle down. Uh, but you know, if it's I think if it's presented in the right way, those kind of details. Really, it, a it gives you a reason to upgrade your gear. It gives you an opportunity to make your player better, to improve your equipment. Um, but also, it adds a tactical element too. You know, if I'm in the heat of the battle, do I do I take the time to clean my barrel, or do I do I keep keep blowing and, until it clears out? Uh, so that's kind of tangential to your question. But just in general, with with the realism and speed, it really all comes back to that same formula. It's balancing it's balancing fun and realism. And so I don't have a simple answer for you, but I would say it's going to be, if it's not at least as exciting as real paintball, then we haven't done our job right. My name is Pedro, and I just got one question. How do we make it into this game? Because let me tell you, man, I want in. Core team. Greg, take it from there. Well, it's been a blessing over the last couple games we've been able to use, actually most of my games, we've been able to use real players, real, uh, real names, real pros, real average players. Uh, uh, GHP2 was, you know, wherever I went on my tour, we signed up and took pictures of pretty much anybody who wanted to be in the game. Uh, this time we're going a little bit more digital. I won't be flying around and, and taking all the photos because we've got some fun, uh, realistic st stuff coming up in GHP3. But if you want to sign up, you personally and your team, you can go right to gregredhastings.com and there's a couple spots on there where you can drop your name and your email address and make yourself known that you and your team want to be in GHP3. But if you're playing on the SPL, uh, we are going to uh, make sure we get all of those teams who are playing there. Your team logo will be in the HUD, your, you know, your jersey will be there, plus there's all the customizations that's going into this game. It's crazy crazy ridiculous and what I also like about the customization is as the game progresses over the next couple years more tools will be added so yes the SPPL and you can be in this game thank you very much I'm Cody Sylvia and I want to know is there gonna be a breakout editor this time and if so I want to know the details I'm working on that with Greg right now. Greg is very adamant about getting that back into the game. We had a really simplified version for GHP2 that was really uh, a breakout play for your bots, um, and he wants uh, to have an editor in there again, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to make it in this time, yeah. I don't have a lot of details for you, um, other than uh, I will I will make one hint, and that's drones, which are going to be in the game and will definitely be a part of editing your breakout. Because what better way 
to see the field than with a drone.